In this video, we will learn the MATLAB code for forward Euler's method. The formula for forward Euler's method is this one and this method is also known as Euler's method or explicit Euler's method or Taylor's method of order 1. Suppose we want to approximate the solution of the first order differential equation dy over dt equals to e to the power t where t varies from 0 to 2. We also have the initial condition y of 0 equals to 1. If we solve this problem analytically then we will get the exact solution as y equals to e to the power t. If we plot the solution y equals to e to the power t then we will get this type of continuous graph. But we cannot solve all the differential equation analytically and need to approximate the result using different numerical methods. For analytical solution we got a continuous curve but for numerical solution we get different points on the domain that approximate the solution. That is this type of discontinuous graph that approximate the exact solution. Now if we plot the exact solution and numerical solution together then we get this type of graph where this one is the exact solution and this star is the approximate solution. If we increase the number of sub intervals then we get more accurate approximation like this graph. Now let's solve this problem using the MATLAB code. This is the MATLAB code for forward Euler's method. In this code we will solve two different problems example 1 and example 2. For other problems you do not need to change any line of this code except the function that is this line. Now let's run the code. So click on run and go to command window. Now enter the left endpoint A which is 0, enter the right endpoint B which is 2, now enter number of sub intervals suppose 10, finally enter the initial condition alpha which is 1. So this is the approximate solution and this one is its corresponding graph. To solve example 2 give a percentage sign here and delete the percentage sign from this function. Now run again and go to command window. So left end point A is 0, right end point is 2, number of sub intervals suppose 10 and the initial condition alpha for this problem is 0.5. So this is the approximate result and this is its corresponding graph. Thanks for watching.